Hello there, my name's Debbie Shaw. Now, sewing is something that I've been passionate about since longer than I can possibly remember. My mum taught me to sew at a very, very early age. And nowadays, my career is sewing and designing and writing Needlecraft's book and everything involved in sewing is my world. One of the things that I've been very lucky with is the fact that I've used many, many different sewing machines on my sewing journey. So what I'd like to do in these series of videos is to help you out if you're beginning, if you're looking for a sewing machine and you're confused by all of the technical terms and the world of sewing machines in general. Now, every sewing machine has been designed to do initially the same job. It's to take a thread from the top of the machine, a thread from the bottom of the machine, loop them together to make a knot, and that's the stitch which forms in between two layers of fabric holding them together. That sewing. Any sewing machine that you buy, whether it's mechanical, electronic, computerised, will work in exactly the same way. Every sewing machine also has two tensions, one at the top of the machine and one at the bottom of the machine, and that can be very confusing, but basically this is the way that it works. So your thread on any sewing machine will sit on the top or on the back of the machine on a spool holder. On the majority of the machines it works exactly the same way. You'll come round one little knob on the top, that's your first tension, your thread comes down the front and most sewing machines will have arrows on them to show the direction of the thread or you take a look in the manual if this is the first time you've threaded. This is called the take-up lever, so on one end you'll have a hook or an eye, the other end will lead down to the needle and you need to thread your thread through the eye of that take-up lever and then come back down again. You'll have a little hook, maybe two hooks, on the top of the needle just to thread that thread through. And at the moment, the tensions aren't engaged and I can pull the thread through freely. When I put the foot down, it's a little bit firmer, so now I can't pull the thread through. Now I know that the tensions inside here are engaged. A lot of machines will have a needle threader like this one. And this puts a tiny little hook through the eye of the needle. So when you draw the thread across and underneath the hook, it grabs hold of your thread and pulls out a little loop at the back of the needle. Then you can just pull your thread through. So now the top thread threaded up, tensions are engaged, we're ready to load the bottom thread. Some sewing machines will have a thread that drops in on the top, so you take away a clear perspex lid and you can see the thread inside. This sewing machine has a bobbin that goes underneath here. And it'll sit inside this bobbin case. There are tensions in here as well. Some bobbins are metal, some are plastic, they work in the same way. You'll take the thread coming off the top of the bobbin and pop it inside the bobbin case. Now the tensions here are the little slit that goes down the side, pull the thread around until it comes through the hole at the top, and now the tension is engaged. And with these type of bobbins, the bobbin should be able to be supported from the thread without coming through, but when you pull the thread, it will pull through freely. Now, the, you can adjust the tension on these. There's a little screw on the side here. I have never in all of my years ever needed to adjust that tension on the bottom bobbin casing, so don't worry about that at all. This is just a handle, so you pull this open. You can see there's a little lever at the top that sits in the upright position. Pop it into position and you'll hear a click and your bobbin's engaged. The next thing we need to do is to take that bottom thread through the feed docks, which are these teeth underneath the machine that draw the fabric through, and out to the top. So hold on to your top thread, wind the hand wheel at the side of your machine towards you, never wind it away from you. Circulate that once, and then when you pull the top thread, that will pull your thread through. And, oops, you may need something like a quick unpick or a pair of scissors to just grab hold of that bottom thread and pull it through to the top. And now you're ready to sew. Works exactly the same way if you have a top loading bobbin. Although you don't have a bobbin case on the top, you will have a tension. And in that case, you'll pull the thread forwards and it'll engage underneath a little gap in the chrome and pull it to one side. And again, you'll feel that thread when it feels a little bit firmer and then it's engaged. Now the tension isn't as it may sound, the tightness of the stitch on your fabric. It's the rate at which the thread from the top and the bottom of the machine actually comes through. So if you have lots of loops of thread coming through to the top of your fabric, you have a problem with the tension in your bottom bobbin. If you have a lot of loops from the top of your thread coming through to the bottom, that's your tension in the top of the bobbin. This is the way your stitch should look. So on the top of your fabric, it's perfect. 
on the bottom of your fabric it should look exactly the same. Now if you do have any looping of thread, top or bottom, before adjusting the tension either on your machine or underneath your machine, you need to unthread totally from the top to the bottom and I can guarantee that 90% of the time your problem is going to be solved. So that's the first thing to kind of explain about the sewing machine and the way that it works, but there are different types of sewing machines out there. So in the next few videos, I'll explain a little bit more about the differences. Thank <laughs> you.